as the wheels come off the ground, you do feel free. You feel like I can go anywhere, I can do anything. I love the challenge, the adventure. All right, I got two, two, five, one, five. While I did feel a calling to fly, I also felt a calling to serve others. The Navy was a perfect fit. I could spend my time protecting others and also getting to fly. While I loved my 22 years in the Navy, it's pretty hard on your body. I started looking for what my future aviation career would hold, and Boeing came right, calling. Now, we are ready to start engines if you are. I can't imagine a world without place. aviation. Aviation connects people. It allows us to go places, have new experiences, provide humanitarian relief. However, there is a downside. Aviation makes up about 2% of global carbon emissions, and every percentage point counts. We need to do everything we can to mitigate this, and we share that responsibility across the aviation industry. Decarbonizing aviation is a daunting task, but it's also one of the most exciting projects we all get to work on. Given aviation's impact on the environment, I feel a sense of responsibility in this role. To reduce Boeing's carbon footprint, there are a number of things that need to happen. Fleet renewal, operational efficiency, renewable energy, advanced technology, and Corsia, which is the carbon offsetting and reduction scheme for international aviation. When we say fleet renewal, that means replacing old airplanes with newer ones. Every generation is about 20 to 30% more efficient than the ones they replace. So matter matters. We design products with more efficient materials, selecting materials that can be reused and materials that can be recycled. Second, it's about operational efficiency, using the digital brains in the flight deck to give pilots the ability to fly more efficient routes, to burn less fuel. Third, it's about renewable energy. Sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF for short, is a lot like conventional jet fuel, but it's made from renewable resources. Think about used cooking oil or biomass residue. Because of those renewable feedstocks, SAF can help reduce carbon emissions up to 85% over the fuel's life cycle. One of the challenges with SAF is scaling it. Some production requires large amounts of land with low biodiversity and low carbon stock. So while airplanes are certified to fly on a 50-50 blend, the production volume is still at its infancy. Last year, there was about 0.1% of total fuel usage around the world was SAF. So one of the things we're doing is we're working across the globe on partnerships to scale its availability. In our own production flies, about 20% of our fuel usage is SAF blend. We have committed that by 2030, the airplanes we will deliver then will be capable of flying on 100% SAF. We also use data to better understand the effectiveness of SAF. Our total climate impact model called Cascade visualizes the entire commercial air traffic in the world and then allows you to apply the different strategies to reduce carbon emissions. So we know that SAF is foundational to decarbonizing aerospace, but it's not sufficient. So that's why we have a SAF and strategy. It's about SAF and how electricity might earn its way onto the airplanes and how hydrogen might play a role. One of the most exciting franchises we have is the Eco Demonstrator program. It's a fleet of airplanes that we use to test tomorrow's technologies today. The Eco Demonstrator was a program started about 10 years ago by Boeing to look at ways that we could reduce emissions, make aviation more sustainable, Every year we choose a different platform. Usually it's a different type of airplane and we turn it into a flying test bed. Ordered Marana 3900 up to 6000 with a request. Clear 3 contact tower. The Eco Demonstrator is one of several in our fleet. One exciting demonstrator we're currently building is the sustainable flight demonstrator called the X66 to help us evolve the most important aspects of sustainable flight, such as energy, propulsion, aerodynamics, airframe, and the flight deck. We bring the best of the industry together. Manufacturers, airlines, supply chain, government agencies, and academia, as well as great teammates like our pilot Kerry, to converge their knowledge for a common objective to decarbonize aviation. In the Navy, every flight we did had a purpose. 
Today, flying the Eco Demonstrator, every flight also has a purpose. This one is to help improve the aviation industry by decreasing emissions. Got the runway made. I hope that my kids are going to be able to live in a world that is just as good, if not better, than it is today.